Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Brimming with anticipation this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 145, a show in which your writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and general good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? I moved. What? He won the moving game. He We're, did real life Tetris. I did. Um, <laughs> he leveled, no, he leveled up in, in home. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did level up in home. Um, over here where you can't see is the the wall of screams where I'm tracking every cent spent in Candy Crush and Crush the Castle. <laughs> um, so we got that all set up. Uh, secret top agent government stuff is over here. So, you know, yeah, good thing that's go. off camera. Yeah, it is all off camera. <laughs> Wait, are you in the room with a snake? Is there a live snake in the room you're in? There is a live snake in the room on there. Yes, there is. Uh, um, he just ate, so he's hiding. Okay. Anaconda, Anaconda don't want none. So, um, <laughs> but uh, no, I went forty-four and nine in a uh, domination game of advanced warfare. You still had time to play video games when you're moving? I I needed That's to unwind. Awesome. I, I played, I'm not kidding, Bobby, I played six games of Call of Duty. <laughs> nice. Okay? Uh, the first one I played, I went 44 and 9. I put wow. down the controller and walked away. <laughs> and then went back like an hour and a half later and I played five more. Wow. In those six games, I racked up over 200 kills. Nice. Like, I don't know what happened, but I was in the zone. You were in the zone because yeah. you, you. it was like when you were moving – you could pinpoint where you were going to put things, and that's how you like lo- like zeroed in on the people you were going to shoot. Let me let me see if I'm I understanding what you're saying. I'm trying. You're to. trying to say that I tapped the matrix. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, right. became I, Neo. I, I can agree to that. Um, but now I'm up to like 260 attempts in Crossy Road. Um, I haven't gotten a gift from my cats in like three days. <laughs> I got a speeding ticket from Jerk Cop. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's all I accomplished. Cool. Uh, Sorg, what did you accomplish this week? I looked at all the video games that Chachi gave me. Uh, because he, he bestowed <laughs> upon me not only his old ICP stuff, but uh, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, PlayStation 2 games. Thank you for the Guitar Hero guitar, because I had to throw one away that uh, apparently the cat had peed on uh, from the PlayStation oh, 2. No. Uh, so, so I can still get my Guitar Hero on. That cat is not a fan of guitar. No, no. Uh, and again, a lot of phone games. I, I downloaded Immortals and Mortal Kombat X to my iPad because it's got more room on it. And I'm not try- always deleting stuff to play do videos on my phone. So I was getting into that a little bit. Um, still playing Framed, which is a really cool iPhone game. And that other one, uh, Shapo, is it Shapomatic, I think? Uh, yeah, Shadowmatic, actually. Last I knew, they were still 99 cents each on the App Store. Um, and I started uh, uh, diving into. I think I want to play. Uh, I I I think I'll get time to do this. But um, uh, Zelda's um, which was it? Phantom Hourglass. So yeah, Phantom Hourglass. I think I started playing it before and got distracted or Trashy borrowed it or whatever the case was. Uh, I like. I, I'm really jonesing to like remember I have a Nintendo DS and actually play those games. Uh, yeah, I have to remember. Because I feel like the only game I played through on there was New Super Mario Bros. and I borrowed it. So, um, so I'm, I'm hoping to maybe maybe kind of jump into that and get, just get my Nintendo on. I just need a Nintendo fix really bad right now, and that's what's in front of me until things start popping up on the on the iPhone. So, um, side note, uh, I listened to something called Gary Vaynerchuk, and somebody asked him about Nintendo finally getting into mobile, and he says, "Yeah, they're old, they're dead late, and they're screwing themselves over." So that was really interesting to see from a business person, Bobby. And I I achieved. I played the cat game again, of course. Uh, it, it is near and dear to our hearts now, and we cannot leave it. Nope. Uh, I played Crossy Road, also near and dear to our hearts. Um, I played Pool Nation FX on Xbox One. That was one of the free games last month, and it's still one of the free games this month. I don't know why. Uh, I play, I downloaded the Ride demo, which is a motorcycle game, and failed horribly at it. Hmm. Um, and I played Pinball FX. I downloaded the Portal Table, which it's amazing. It it has like all the sounds from Portal and everything like that. Like that, anything you'd want in a Portal pinball game, it has. Nice. Um, it's really cool. Um, and uh, my friends and I went to Dave and Buster's this weekend, and I got to play Mario Kart DX, nice. which I won 
one game, one game, there was like a glitch. My friend and I used both used Toad at the same time, and we finished like so close. It said both of us finished in first. I don't know if it was a glitch or what happened. Um, and then the last game I won, I was uh, Bowser Jr. And that was fun. We won a whole bunch of tickets and, and almost got a dinosaur, but I got a wallet instead. Uh, and then I went to the casino and played um, adult games and lost $5. Jeez. <laughs> so I was up pretty good for the night. But yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. Nice. Nice. All right, Chuck, you want to take us around the net? It is now time for video game three things. <laughs> Uh, first up, Screen Tendo is a thing. What? Um, Screen Tendo yes. is an application that allows you to turn a section into your screen uh, of your screen into a playable uh, Mario level. I love that this is a thing. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, you can uh, sort just play in the uh, the video demo for you in the video. If you're on audio, head over to insertcoinbean.com and check out the uh, the video I put in the, the article. Um, and also is a link to, to where you can download the software. But essentially what it does is any section of your screen that you highlight with this application running will trans it will uh, transform uh, everything on your screen into different aspects of a Mario level. So cool. um, definitely fun to check out. Definitely not not always play. a really usable uh, Mario level, uh, I'll point out. There's no, no enemies or anything, but still, you get to jump around, and it's a Mario level. Right. It, it's it's functional. Yeah. So, that's cool. Uh, next up, I, I don't like to put these in because it's it's a waste of space, but this uh, uh, this clip really made me laugh. Uh, Kotaku puts up a weekly highlight reel of funny uh, video game clips that people send them. Um, and in this one, NHL gets huggy. <laughs> Um, uh, a New York Ranger, or no, New York Islander <laughs> scores a goal, and he gets uh, it gets hugged on both sides by Colorado Avalanche players. It's awesome, and it gets a little gets a little frisky. Uh, uh, so I put it in. It's it's set to start at the part that I'm talking about, but you can watch the whole thing. It's usually they squish them. what's that? They squish him. Yeah, uh, but it, it they're usually uh, good. I just don't like to cheat and put those in, but that. I, I watched it, I laughed, and I felt like I had to share it with you guys. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, last but not least, uh, arguably one of the greatest YouTube channels of all time, uh, The Game Theory. They've, they've been in before. Uh, they'll, they'll be in again. Uh, this week, they, they take a look at the Super Mario Brothers timeline and break it down better. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, a couple months ago, I put in... A, a, Zelda image that, that had all of the uh, the Mario games in oh, yeah. what order they thought. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this breaks it down in a more intelligent fashion. Okay. Uh, using, <laughs> believe it or not, logic and uh, uh, hints from the games, he puts the Mario games in the order that they belong and finds out or comes to the conclusion that uh, there were two Marios. Oh, no. Is this kind of uh, like the, the multiple link thing? Captain no, 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 this, no, uh, no, not at all. Captain um, Lobano and Bob Hoskins, right? No, um, <laughs> Mario Jumpman Mario, which is the one from the Donkey Kong game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's actually yeah. uh, the Super Mario's father. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, yes. And and he, he comes to this conclusion because uh, Cranky Kong... In a don oh, in the yeah. Donkey Kong series, is actually the original Donkey Kong. Okay, huh. can, which makes uh, which makes uh, Donkey Kong Junior. Um, the Donkey the, Kong from Donkey Kong Country, right? Correct. So it, it, it's it, say what you want before you watch it, but take the seventeen minutes to watch it, mm -hmm. and you'll agree with what he's saying. Awesome. So, I mean, it's yeah. definitely worth checking out, and it when, definitely opens your eyes. When did Mario get his PhD? Actually, he doesn't cover any of the... Uh, oh, what? They, no. they don't count. They're not actual... Uh, so all the cameo stuff isn't in there? No, no, oh. it's not, because it doesn't huh. count. They're not actual games. Right, 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 right. 
So, I mean, he covers all of the actual Mario games, none of the cameo stuff. Yeah, none like the golf and yeah, tennis. Yeah, none, none of the – he doesn't cover the Mario Karts um, <laughs> or any of the the other stuff because – That's what Mario does in his free time. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that – but, um, yeah, so go over to insertcointobegin.com, check it out. It's definitely uh, entertaining. And uh, this has been this week's vi- version of Video Game Play Things from around the internet. Nah, nah, nah. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Uh, let's get some, to some rumors and speculation first here. Um, this is this is a huge story for Riz. Uh, Bando Namco, Bandai Namco will announce Dark Souls 3 at E3, according to the VG247 report. Uh, they're citing the source familiar with the matter. Uh, the game will be headed up by the director of the original Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and Bloodborne, uh, according to the report. Um, players love challenging games. Uh, do you think this is why Dark Souls is so popular? I guess and are so. You excited, are you excited for the Dark Souls 3 announcement? I know... I never really got into Dark Souls. Uh, I know Riz, Riz is a huge fan of Dark Souls. Riz likes pain, so I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I, I get, couldn't get past the. Well, ghost the the first one, it. the first one was a freebie on on three hundred and sixty, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did not. Yeah, like it was a that free one. game. I I, I, I could I, the tutorial was too hard. Come on, mm-hmm. um, I no, I don't. Yeah, no, no, not not down with this. <laughs> not down with this sickness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chachi, have you played the Dark Souls games? I, I've never played a Dark Soul game. Oh, really? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I've never played any of them, and I don't plan on starting with three. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm sure they're really good games, just not my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if you like a challenge, though, it's it's good. I mean, but just not too. I I don't like too much of a challenge. Right. Maybe not that much of a challenge. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Um, it gets it gets a little little weird, a little crazy. But anyways. All right, uh, Lego Dimensions, which we talked about uh, last week, launches on September 27th, and yeah. as figured, be prepared, be prepared to lose some cash. Oh, jeez. Uh, starter packs are $99.99. Jeez. And they contain Batman, Wild Style, Gandalf, the Batmobile, and uh, the Lego Gateway, which actually allows the Lego pieces to go into the game. Uh, level packs contain an additional new mission-based game level, along with a minifigure and a vehicle and a weapon. Uh, team packs, oh, those are twenty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, team packs, which are twenty-four ninety-nine, provide two minifigures and two vehicles or weapons uh, with their own unique abilities. Uh, fun packs, which are fourteen ninety-nine, provide a new minifigure and a vehicle or weapon. Uh, th- not too bad. I mean, fourteen ninety nine for a minifigure, though. Yeah, but you get a vehicle. The, and these are these are Lego figure size figures, right? Yeah, yeah, wow, they're they, they are completely compatible with Lego. I, I'm, that is I'm insane. That is absolutely so, insane. I think basically what that thing does is if you put the uh, chip, like little chips pedestal thing they have with it, mm-hmm. you can build what, and it'll take whatever you build into the game. I'm thinking it looks like that. I don't know if. You can do that or not? Well, what Maybe. you're really saying, Bobby, <laughs> is we're all going to go broke. Probably. Probably, yeah. Um, right. it's, it's also been confirmed that each vehicle for the game will have three modes uh, that can be built during the game. Um, and any vehicle can be used on any level. So that means you can take the DeLorean around Springfield or even through Gotham or down the Yellow Brick Road for all that, that matters. <laughs> um, but my question is, what would you guys build to use in a LEGO video game? What vehicle? What vehicle? Yeah, what vehicle would you guys build to use in the Lego? I vehicle? wish you could build your own thing to be put in the game. Like when mm-hmm. I would just build crazy contraptions when there were no neat. instructions. You know, like yeah. like I would do because I would just build like these 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 sets for my Superman figures, my superpowers team figures mm-hmm. to fight on, basically. Um, like that get, can I create that isn't there and I heard something about there's going to be like a Minecraft ish version of a Lego mm-hmm. game right that you're yeah, just well, they, they stuff. already have uh, Lego already has the uh, the what do you call it the license for my, Minecraft anyways mm-hmm. so there could be Minecraft things in Lego you know universe so I think it would be pretty cool 
awesome. I, you know what? Uh, sure, Lego. Lego being Lego awesome. Mentions, that yet. Lego is still Lego a thing. Works. That 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 kids are creating things with this. I, I you know if this is a gateway for somebody like that, sure, it's good. But yeah, a lot of people are going to go broke. And they, and they said this is also Lego's answer to Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to get kids back into Lego. It, it's not like Minecraft. I feel like for younger kids, Minecraft is going to be a stronger brand for them mm-hmm. without the licensing that Lego has of of other characters. Um, so I don't think, yeah, it's going to be interesting for competition, but, um, I, I think Minecraft will do fine and mm-hmm. Minecraft's not going away. Um, yeah, exactly. So, right. All right. Uh, Chachi, what would you build? The, uh, double decker couch from the movie. Yes. Nice. With wheels. <laughs> With wheels. And maybe uh, a jet pack. Give it to, uh, the, the astronaut guy. Yeah. Charlie Day. I'll give it to Benny. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, that was such a great movie. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Uh, with E3 2015 coming at us fast, Nintendo is continu- continuing to give information about the 2015 Nintendo World Championships, which will, will be held at, during the Expo. Uh, the event, which is happening 25 years after Nintendo World Championships in 1990, will feature 16 of the best Nintendo players coming together to compete. Today, Chachi, Mm -hmm. Nintendo announced that the original Legend of Zelda will be one of the games that the 16 finalists will be competing in. Uh, Nintendo isn't quite ready to reveal how players will be competing uh, in the Classic, instead instructing us to stay tuned during the event. Uh, But it would make sense for it to to be some sort of a a speed run or an off-the-wall challenge like they have in the NES Remix games. Um, but my question to you guys is, do you think that Nintendo will unveil a surprise title like they did in The Wizard? Super Mario Brothers 4, maybe? So, well, no, no, no. Super Mario I World Super was Super Mario 4. Super Mario 5. Let's do it. But it doesn't, it doesn't have the Super Mario 4 name to it, though. Well, it does, actually. If, uh, does in, it? in certain listings, yes, it does. Oh, okay. In certain okay. listings, yes, it does. It was announced as Super Mario 4, you know, like Super Mario World. Like, like it, it, It's technically 4. Um, so you do you just, think they'll announce a new game to have everybody play though? Uh, I think they'll have Splatoon. I think it'll be a good that, show off for Splatoon, and yeah, and I keep hard, hearing yeah. really good things about Splatoon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really good things about it. Um, so I, I, mm, I would hope so, but I don't think I don't think they're going to have anything as grand as the Wizard Super Mario Three, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, I, I could only hope. I really hope, like 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 Fred Savage just makes an appearance at the event in general. Oh, like, can we do this? I feel like if they don't connect us to the wizard in every it, way yeah. imaginable, they fail horribly. The live, one... oh, go ahead. The live stream just has to be full of references to the wizard. Yes, I, just I, I mean they need to have a Lucas like character yeah, just yeah. randomly walk onto the feed wearing a power glove. Power glove. I just want he doesn't even have to say anything. Glove. He just kind of has no. to hold it up. And walk can away. We get, can we get bad. just? Can we have the wizard cosplay contest? That's all I want. <laughs> that's all I want. You don't even have to get Christian Slater on this thing, okay? He's hey. busy doing a TV show. Hey, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. I think I finally threw away the final pieces to my U Force. By the way, uh, uh, oh, also, oh, also got peed on. Bring up the U Force. Oh boy! Fire! 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 <laughs> Did you have to yell at that thing to get it to work? Whoa, no, I just did anyways because it didn't. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, no, all right. Do you know what does work, Sorg? Pizza always works. Yes. You don't fail me, pepperoni. And that slice <laughs> on Broadway is is a perfect example of that. You can be not disappointed by the finest of pepperoni. Uh, <laughs> they uh, help us out here, Podcast Day in uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, there's people in San Antonio, Texas that want some of this stuff. Where we've been <laughs> we've been planning and trying to figure out our Alpha Lab startup to deliver pizza to you anywhere in the country. Uh, It'll look for the email for me, Rico. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can check them out. If you are in the Pittsburgh area, please check out SliceOnBroadway.com. They're down here in the, uh, right along your tracks here in Beachview in the South Hills of Pittsburgh or over on Carnegie, PA, if you can find yourself all, out of the, all that construction down on Main Street. Uh, great stuff. Good ingredients. Who doesn't like pizza in the gaming world? Unless you're lactose intolerant, but I think they're going to work with you on that thing. Uh, but anyways, and they even have gluten-free pizza. So I have not... I've not tried because i don't have to um but uh but they'll work with you and they'll even make it in the shape of hello kitty 
because you asked. Uh, so please go check them out. Slice on Broadway.com. PGA's underscore slice on the Twitters and uh, on Facebook and the Instagrams as well. Bobby. All right. Beware of the gluten. Beware, beware the gluten. That's another yeah. podcast. <laughs> all right. Uh, like we've like we've been saying all episode long, this is the week before E3, uh, or week, week or two before E3. Um, anyways, it, it's that time of the year again. Everyone and their mother's game companies are teasing E3 reveals. Ooh. Uh, Bethesda can, can, today. Can we, just, can we just start teasing random stuff? Coming yeah. soon on Boss Battle. Oh, yeah. next week. So there will be a change to Boss Battle. <laughs> We won't be at E3, but it'll be during you know, E3 work, week, which means we can use the hashtag. <laughs> uh, Bethesda said to keep an eye on a website. Uh, the, that website is fallout.bethesda.com, which features a countdown clock that ends on June 3rd, which is tomorrow if you're listening to this live. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Many believe this will be an announcement for a te- or a teaser for Fallout 4, which it's been rumored to be a part of, of uh, E3. Uh, part of Bethesda's lineup. Uh, that's good news for all Fallout fans. I, I know I, I like Fallout Three. Um, I'm I never got the whole way through it, but I'll give it. A, I'll give Fallout Four a try. Mm-hmm. Um, 2K Games and Gearbox also had a teaser for their new game, Battleborn. Mm-hmm. Over the past few weeks, they've been dropping cryptic images on their uh, the Battleborn Twitter feed. The heck? It looks like somebody's uh, desktop blew up and yeah, uh, it does. It's like in bad Street uh, Fighter fan art. It's a puzzle. Oh, okay. It's like a weird puzzle. Um, but they uh, are le- that a lot of people think this is leading up to an announcement, which is scheduled for Thursday. Um, and Battleborn is a multiplayer shooter that features unique characters, a lot like Overwatch. Mm, I, was gonna, um, I was about to ask. I was like, this sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, yes. But this might be our answer to Overwatch on consoles, since it's by Gearbox and, and 2K Games. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, 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 I have a lot of hope for this game. I hope they show it off at E3. I think it's going to be really good. Um, but the final round question this week is, do you think teasers are an effective way to get people excited for their products? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I think uh, we, we saw this. I mean, we all kind of invested, I think, in the teasers for like Dark Knight mm-hmm. when we saw like vote for Harvey Dent and, and, and stuff like that going into it. And even into the next one, I think they had some. Uh, and, and especially, I think for Fallout fans, there's a certain vibe. Uh, is, you know, Team Fortress does this a bit too, don't they? Mm-hmm. I think so, you know, yeah. especially it's a very community engaging thing. I don't care because I'm not a Fallout player, but you know, good for them. But this is also this other one's a new property, so yeah, yeah Battleborn is is brand new. So I think that's a little more interesting to, to carry some intrigue. It really doesn't uh, do much for me so far. Let me see what you're what you actually show. I guess you mm-hmm. know. Um, I mean, but then again, I'm, I think we're at the point, and I think Chachi will agree with me, where we're spoiled by a Zelda trailer that doesn't didn't mean Jack last year. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. give me cryptic whatnot is is really I we've been we've been I don't want to say spoiled, but we've been soured on this kind yeah. of situation. Yeah. I Too don't like times. when they I don't like when they post teasers to teasers. <laughs> like just. It's show like the, me some. Show me the teaser. Here's Don't the, here's the ad other. about the teaser trailer we're going to show after the Super Bowl. Like, Come on. Like they'll, post, they'll post a vine that's six seconds of the teaser trailer. It's like just post the teaser trailer. Gotta get those millennials, Christ. man. Yeah. So <laughs> I with guess. the the vines and whatnot. Chachi, you have any thoughts on teasers? I don't mind them um, when they result in something. Mm-hmm. That's yes, my much, problem. Much like last year. <laughs> Nintendo. Yes, uh, I'm okay with teaser, teaser trailers as long as I get the payout at the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's all. Like, while I don't care about Fallout, there's millions of fans out there that yeah, do care about yeah. Fallout. It's and a this is a base. great way to get attention to that game that they're probably going to announce in a week or two. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, teaser trailers are great when you get what you're teasing. <laughs> Oh my! So yeah. So, all right. That is going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at on li- at live.sorgatronmedia.com at eight o'clock. Special thanks to Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR on Twitter. Uh, you can follow him there. 
Uh, Sorg, do you have any plugs for us this week? Go check out all the things. Sorgatronmedia.com, new episode of Sawtooth Willie. Find out why I have a padlock on the door over there in the basement. Uh, <laughs> for instance, uh, also check out the LB and the Sorg morning afternoon power hour, also at Sorgatron.com, or LB and I figure out life and love. Uh, maybe more of the life part than anything else. Uh, and, uh, geez, there's so much going on. PodcampPittsburgh.com. If you're in Pittsburgh, uh, want to register for that. Coming to Pittsburgh in August, uh, it's a great social media conference, podcasting. And if you're into podcasting, I talked to Crystal O'Connor from Libsyn uh, last Wednesday at the hardware store, another great space that we've uh, uh, befriended in the area. Um, and uh, a, a great talk there. You can check out podcampusburg.com as well. Thanks to them for helping us out. So that's what I got going on, Bobby. All right, Chachi, you got any plugs this week? Uh, no, but there will be a Chachi Plays announcement coming five weeks in. Yay. There you go. Awesome. It's always good to hear Chachi Plays. All right, and I'm at Bobby FJ. Oh, go ahead. That that'll happen uh, by week's end. Otherwise, stay tuned to Chachi says dot com or Chachi says on the Twitter. Chachi, will you release a teaser trailer? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. We should though. I I'm at Bobby that FJ. one year. It didn't really work. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I'm at Bobby F J Ton. You can follow me on Twitter there and got a mayhem show stuff like that. So go check that stuff out. Uh, that's going to do it for us this week. Game over, guys. Game over, guys! <laughs> this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.